<laughs> the new code books are here. The new code books are here. <laughs> I heard a rumor that they're gonna rewrite code 5524. Oh yeah, they rewrote it all right. And if I have to say so myself, it is quite a doozy. Every year when the Connect board updates our safety code standards, I put them in my trusty binder. But this time, I'll be putting them in my bright and shiny new binder that I got for Christmas. <laughs> what a beautiful yellow binder. As if to say, use caution and slow down. Check it out. Oh, just smell those fresh safety codes. Safety code 72311. All binders should be a neutral color and easy on the eyes. Bright binders are considered a safety hazard. Not safe, not safe! We are Connect HQ. Every day, we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Harper, and this is the first time I met Edison. Okay, which do you think is the smarter snack? A pear or carrot sticks? No idea. A pear? No way, carrot sticks. Where's Mike? He knows a lot about snacks. Uh, he's on a short sabbatical. You mean sabbatical? Yes, it's another word for vacation. A thesaurus? Smart snacks? What's going on around here? Well, we have a visitor coming today from Connect IQ, and I just want to make sure that he feels at home. Connect IQ? Yeah, we have a lot of cues. I mean, we're Connect HQ, and then the smart people are over at Connect IQ, and the models are at Connect GQ, and the speedy police officers are at Connect PDQ. Huh, I never knew there were so many cues. <laughs> yep, and now I know that we have a lot of wisdom here at Connect HQ, but I also want to make sure that we look super smart. Smart, or knowledgeable, astute, brainy. Is there a difference between being wise and being smart? There is. Being intelligent isn't the same thing as having wisdom. You can be super smart and still not have God's wisdom. Yeah, and wisdom isn't something you can get in a snap. It's something you have to gain over time by following God's path for your life. So we should be wise, learn God's way. Exactly. My guts say go with the pear, but I don't know if that's the smart snack or just because I'm kind of hungry. Or maybe you're ravenous. Nice choice. And then we realized he wasn't multiplying by the circumference. He was using the radius. <laughs> <laughs> the radiums. Radius. Did, did you just say radiums? No, no. I did not. I said exactly what you said, which I thought was hilarious. Uh, you know what else is hilarious? Um, words of uh, like, like uproarious, uh, amusing. Yeah. Oh, hey, here's our captain. Um, Edison and I were just discussing words. <laughs> captain Ray, it's a pleasure to meet you. I've heard so much about you at Connect IQ. <laughs> nice to meet you. This is Harper. Hi, what brings you to Connect HQ? We got some of your mail by mistake and I just wanted to drop it off in person. To whom it may concern, there's a project for advanced learning that all of my friends get to work on, but I don't. I feel smart, but Will I ever be smart enough? Sincerely yours, Ned. Hmm, that sounds like some big words for a kid. I wonder if this postcard is from someone older? We don't know where it came from. At Connect IQ, we're usually solving problems like how tall is God or how much do angels weigh? We're not used to big feelings like this. Can you help? Connect HQ is here for you and for Ned. Luke, will you and Harper search for a Bible link, and I'll show Edison how we search for a verse link. You got it, Captain. We'll be uh, hasty, uh, uh, swift, and uh, speedy. <laughs> Aha, I got it. A Bible link? No, some new words for story. We 
need a, uh, 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 a Bible narrative, a Bible memoir, a biblical chronicle. Luke. Uh, sorry, you're right. We need to focus on finding a link for Ned's problem. Ned is worried about not being smart enough, but earlier you guys said that being wise and being smart are two different things. I've got it. That is the perfect uh, epic or anecdote. I know, I'm doing it again. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. Is alive. As a massive storm approaches, people prepare for the worst, but in two very different ways. All that and more coming up next on Bible News Then. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bible News Then. I'm Faith Harold. We begin with our top story. A severe storm is barreling toward us and due to make landfall soon. This wild weather comes as Jesus reminds us to prepare for the storms of life. That brings us to tonight's Parable Watch. We're joined now by our senior reporter of Parables, Nelson Raconteur. Nelson, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Before we go any further, can you please tell the people at home who may not know, what is a parable? Absolutely, Faith. Parables are simple stories Jesus told to teach people spiritual truth. I see. So what has Jesus said in a parable this time? Well, Jesus talked all about the storms of life and how we can survive them. He told a story about two men who each built a home. One person built his home on solid rock, while the other person built his on sand. When the storms came, the house built on sand was washed away. It had a weak foundation, but the house built on solid rock stayed standing because it had a strong foundation. What can we learn from this story? It can all be broken down into simple math. As you see here, if you take following Jesus and add choosing God's way, that equals wisdom. And wisdom is a strong foundation. When hard times come, your life won't fall apart because it's built on Jesus. Alternatively, if you take choosing your own way without following Jesus, that equals foolishness. And that is a weak foundation because when hard times come, your life will fall apart. If you compare these equations, you can see that wisdom is greater than foolishness. Or you could say that a wise man will be warm and dry and a fool will be cold and needing a snorkel. Thank you so much for that report and for helping us all understand parables. There you have it, another spiritual truth from a parable of Jesus. You can read the rest of the story in the Bible. Find it in the book of Matthew chapter seven. That's it for this edition of Bible News Then. Tune in next time when we continue our coverage into the dietary limitations of the Hebrews and how it may affect their grocery budget. Have a wonderful day. Choosing to live God's way is wise. And living life our own way is foolish. This Bible link will show Ned that a strong and secure life is one that follows God's way. Strong, secure, solid, stable, substantial. Are there any other words? I think you- Steady! <laughs> it's an intuitive piece of hardware. It helps us create a connection transmission that we send to the field office or put into our archives. At Connect IQ, we just put together a thick document with all the pertinent information. It's anywhere from 30 to 50 pages long, single-spaced. Wow, that seems exhaustive. It is. Some people work on the paperwork while other people get to work on the cooler projects. What kind of projects? Things like designing gadgets, like jetpacks. It's my dream to work on something like that, but only the extremely intelligent get picked. I have to be smart enough to be on the jetpack path. Well... That sounds a lot like Ned's problem. Oh, uh, yeah, it, 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 I guess it does. <laughs> well, whenever I'm confused about the path that I'm on, I just remember one of my favorite verses. It comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter three, verse six. 
Would you like to say it with me? How do I do that? Follow me like this. Proverbs 3, 6. Proverbs 3, 6. Seek his will in all you do. Seek his will in all you do. And he will show you which path to take. And he will show you which path to take. Seek his will. His will means God's way. This verse reminds us to be wise and to choose God's path, not just the path that seems cool. So Ned's smarts have nothing to do with it. What matters is if he's on the right path, God's path. <laughs> You've got it. Now, if you hit this button right here, it'll help us upload the link to the link console. First link uploaded. Wow, innovative. Well, I know it's no jetpack, but we try. Hey, Edison, is everything okay? This is a beautiful view. There's nothing like this at Connect IQ. Just one floor and lots of great walls. One guy has a cat poster, but that's about it. Well, I was about to make the connection transmission for Ned, if you want to help me. I have something to confess. What's up? There is no Ned. Sure there is. From the postcard? He was a fabrication. A cipher? A non-entity. You sound like Luke. Ned is make-believe. I, I made him up. I wrote the postcard because I had a problem that needed an answer. That explains all the big words. But why didn't you just ask one of your friends at Connect IQ? Because even though I was surrounded by smart people, they aren't as wise as everyone around here. Well, here at Connect HQ, we make plenty of mistakes. But there's one thing we always try and remember. Be wise, learn God's way. See, you just said something in five words that would take us 30 pages to say. Be wise, learn God's way. That's excellent. So, do you want to help me make the connection transmission for Ned? <laughs> Long live the imaginary Ned. I'd love to help. Hi, my name is Harper. And I'm Medicine. And we're here to tell you something we learned about wisdom. The Bible tells us all about it in the book of Proverbs. Here, say it with us like this. Proverbs, Proverbs 3, 6. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. We don't always know what to do when we have a choice to make, but if we seek God's will, he will always show us the right path to take. The wise path instead of the foolish path. Learning wisdom is like building your life on Jesus. He's a rock which is strong and secure. When hard things come your way, you won't be shaken. But if you choose to live your life your own way without God's help, that's like building your life on shaky sand. When hard times happen, you feel like your life is falling apart. Everyone needs wisdom. It doesn't matter if you're smart or not. Young or old, God's way is wiser than yours. Wisdom isn't knowing all the right answers. It's knowing what God's way is and doing it. God made you. He made the whole world. He knows everything. He knows what has happened, what's happening, and what's going to happen. God's way is wiser than our way. Be wise, learn God's way. Thanks for helping me out, Edison. No problem. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. What a simple but important way to share God's truth with people who need answers. It's what we do. It's what I want to do. Well, I don't think Connect IQ has a link console or drones. No, no, I mean here. I want to help you here at Connect HQ. I want to become a leader like you. That would be awesome, but we'd have to ask Ray. Ask me what? If I might, I'd like to request a transfer to Connect HQ. What about the path where you get to make jetpacks? I think this is a wiser path. Well, if you feel like God is guiding you, we'd love to have you. Excellent. We can get you started on a leader and training track, but there is a small amount of paperwork. I'm great at paperwork. Welcome to Connect HQ, Edison. It's gonna be, help me out, Luke. What's the best way to describe it? How about amazing? Uh, Mind-blowing. Astonishing. Wonderfine. grand -ificent. Okay, now they're just making up words. <laughs> hmm, pretty good. You don't just wake up with tons of wisdom. Wisdom is something you gain over your entire life if you're looking for it. And the first step is choosing to follow Jesus as your leader and number one friend. 
If you haven't decided to be a disciple of Jesus, you can make that decision today. All you have to do is remember the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live in love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you want to make that decision today, be sure and talk about it with your Connect Small Group leader before you leave.